everyone and welcome back to my channel a quick video just to give you a tip uh, not for this just wanted to show you because I finished it this is a cowl that I've made um, and it's still wet it's blocking as you can see is knitted in oh do I have the tag for it I think is knit sock yeah by coop knits I'm not sure but I had uh, I purchased a green and a gray and as you can see when you put it together it looks green and blue I don't know why it's just like a play on color I guess but I finished this cowl and one thing I wanted to mention about it is that it's a lot narrower than your usual cowl so I'm writing the pattern for it now and I will include a wider version for it so I'll give you the stitch number for this size as well as a, a wider size the reason why I wanted a narrow one is because I have my buff my merino buff that I use um, throughout winter well autumn spring winter here and I wanted something um, a bit more fun so I created this one and I wanted to make it the same size as my buff um, that's why it's so narrow and I find that a lot of cowl patterns are too wide and it kind of they they don't do what they're supposed to do to keep your neck warm so this is more like a turtle neck uh, <laughs> cowl I guess but this is what I like and I tried it on and it's very comfortable it even comes up over my mask uh, so if it's cold and in the winter it just it's really really nice and warm so yeah I'll let this dry but the reason why I'm filming this video is because I had a lot of extra yarn left well a lot maybe about 40 grams each and I decided to knit a pair of socks and I wanted to do, obviously I wanted to use up my yarn. So I'm just going to make a pair of ankle socks. Um, but I wanted to do them striped. And I found the helix method. And I just wanted to show you how, how I work it and how I understand it. Now it does make my gauge a bit looser. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not concentrated uh, when I'm knitting these socks but it is a little bit looser than my usual um, gauge with this yarn and these needles I'm using what is it 225 um, and the way I started these socks and I will I am in the process of writing a, a pattern for them is I cast on here I do wraps no wraps and turns German short rows all around yep yeah, German short rows all around and then when I finish I pick up stitches and it makes this line here that I really like some people might not like it so if you don't like it you can just put these uh, stitches on on a scrap yarn using the crochet chain uh, but I'm happy with this it just makes them look like normal socks but let's get on to what I'm here to talk about the helix knitting method um, so the way that it's worked is kind of like um, you knit 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 with one color and then stop I stop four stitches before my before I need to change colors I drop that color there and then I start I slip the stitches and then I start with a new color anyway let me just untangle this and I'll show you what I mean so now I'm working with the green yeah so using the magic loop I will just knit with my green yarn until I'm four stitches from my where I left my gray yarn and I'll show you what that means you see I left my gray yarn here 
so I will come with my green stitches until I'm four stitches before there which means I'm going to finish the stitches on this needle let me just uh, come a bit closer I know that this is a uh, I don't I, I'm not really sure who created this method but I've read about it and I tried it and it's really cool I'm not sure if I'm doing it right I'm just showing you how I work it okay I am using my chargu needles these are interchangeable minis 15 uh, 15 centimeter 30 centimeter anyway oops sorry about that so I'm going to knit this stitch and then I'm going to have a look how many stitches I have until my gray yarn and as you can see I've got five so I'm going to knit one more with green then I'm going to slip these four stitches on my left needle on my right needle one two three four and I'm going to start knitting with my gray one I left my green one back here so I'm going to start knitting with my gray one all the way around until I'm four stitches behind where I left off my green yarn and then I'm going to pick up my green yarn and continue knitting with it so it's a little bit like playing catch I guess with <laughs> with rounds and with two color yarns but it just works it just works really nice to kind of not correct because there won't be any jog there between the the two color um, yarns they just never catch up with each other I guess so knit 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 I keep knitting okay so I know I stopped after knitting two stitches on back here so I'm gonna keep knitting with my gray until I have two stitches left here I'm gonna drop my gray and pick up those green stitches on the needle swap here slip those green stitches over and now I'm ready to start knitting with my green yarn again and I'm going to knit with it until I'm four stitches away from where I left my gray yarn and just keep going like this I guess until I finish the foot of the sock and then I'll I'm thinking about knitting the heel in the gray color that way I can balance since I only have the same amount on both of them hopefully I can manage to make a pair of shorties from my leftover cow yarn I'll just knit two four stitches before my gray yarn and then I'll stop because I think that you kind of get it now what is this all about but this is called helix knitting so uh, yeah if you're interested you can just google and see what other people say about it I've read about it and this is how I think this is how I understood is worked and it's working for me so I find it very easy you don't need to count anything other than the four stitches before I mean if you stop five stitches before or six stitches before it wouldn't make a difference so here I am four stitches before my green stitches I'm just going to slip them over here drop my green yarn 
pick up my gray yarn and start knitting. And that is Helix knitting. And as you can see, it's quite neat. Now I do have to, you know, control my tension a bit, but I'm a loose knitter and uh, to be honest, I didn't really concentrate on knitting these, but this is what they look like. As you can see, there's no change in color jog or anything like that. The work just keeps on chasing, <laughs> chasing each other. The colors keep on chasing each other, but they never catch up. So yeah, that is Helix Knitting. And I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.